manifesting what you want in both life and work is at the top of mind for a lot of people in 2023. Uh, it's one thing to want it. It's another thing to go through the daily steps to make it happen. <laughs> That's right. And let's discuss that right now. Joining us is Candace Barr, author of a soon to be released book called Believing Before Seeing. Love that. Welcome, Candace. Thank you very much. Welcome Tell us back. a little bit about the book first off, just, you know, in your words. So it's really, it is, everyone is very familiar with the word manifesting, vis visualization, um, making your thoughts into reality. It's very important. But there are steps and ways to do this for life, business, relationships, anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I think when people have a guidance system on how to do things, mm -hmm. um, it becomes real and anyone can really do it. I love it. I love to dive in a little further into your thoughts on, on the subject because it is it's a it is a it is a much talked about subject mm. manifesting. Mm. Uh, but everyone has a little bit of a different take. You interestingly enough, you say you don't believe that everyone was really raised correctly. Yeah, I know it's a kind of a bold statement, mm. but I would say 99% people or 98% people have not really been raised correctly, meaning mindset. Mindset is everything. And I, again, we've heard about mindset, just like the word manifestation, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, I think most people were taught, you know, I'll see it, when I see it, I'll believe it. It's co inc completely incorrect. It's believing before seeing. That's mm -hmm. where faith comes in, whatever your faith is. That's where visual, visualization comes in. That's where mm -hmm. kind of believing things outside of yourself, using that energy, bringing that into your personal power and using that through you. Mm -hmm. mm. So you feel people should reconnect. What are your, what's your advice on getting people to kind of reconnect and rewire? How do we change that? Again, goes Just back do to, it? goes back to mindset, <laughs> goes back to mindset. There's a million books on this. There's yeah. a million speakers on this topic. There's so much information on this. It's kind of hard to avoid this information. So if you look up anything on that topic, you will find it. Now finding the right coach or the right person that you resonate with to hear about this information, that's gonna be up to you. You have a lot of personal power and the, really, the book is really on bringing back your personal power. I think the experience that we all went through a couple of years ago, people might feel now Nowadays, a little, bit, a little bit powerless, but that's not the case, and that's not true. You do have a lot of personal power that you can use. Mm -hmm. And Candace, I feel like because you wrote a book on this, you were ready that you felt, uh, to some degree, you'd crack the code. You know, on 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 uh, how do I manifest? I've, I've kind of figured this out for myself. Mm. Can you give us a personal example of like a daily practice, yeah, or absolutely. even part of your mindset? Absolutely, that's helped you? it's incredibly important. Actually, it's a daily work. It's a daily practice, like you said. It's not going to just happen today and tomorrow is completely different. Mm -hmm. It is action and it is practice. And mm -hmm. so my daily practice is I do get up really early. I get up at five in the morning, naturally, no alarm clock. Um, I do journal, I do meditate, I do work out. And during workout is a part of me uh, meditation. When you work out, you're open to receiving, I call them divine downloads. That That's a chapter in the book. When you're not always, you know, in, intentionally focusing on something mm. is when you're open to receiving maybe messages or information that you need to receive. Mm. Just a little bit of wisdom, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I get that during workouts. Mm -hmm. I, I was just I watching say. a documentary where someone journaled their whole life and I thought, gosh, I wish, I mean, there were piles, you know, and yeah. I thought, so interesting to go back and literally read how you were feeling a certain month or a Absolutely. certain day. Yeah. And yeah. it's like your life story. Yeah. And it's good to keep the writing up, right? You and I talk mm -hmm. about <laughs> how our writing has gone downhill, right? So journaling is a good idea. Yeah, it's profound. Um, what gave you the, the interest and uh, the drive to write this book? Is it because you believe so passionately about it and you want to help other people? You know, I've used it, I've been very blessed throughout my life at a really young age to have really great mentors and coaches kind of teach me and train me throughout the way on uh, mindset. Mm -hmm. Let's use the word mindset. So I do, I have used it. Now, as you get older, you're using it more and more and in different ways because you have always different goals. Mm -hmm. um, so I wouldn't say that I'm an expert on this, but I would say I have used it throughout my life, again, for personal and business. And I've created a lot of different really cool things in my life because of using these practices. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, the book's 
called Believing Before Seeing. Yes. September 7th in Arizona, there's a really awesome event. The book will be available there as well as pre-order right now. Tell us about this event. So we do, we have an event we throw every year called Women of Achievement, honoring female entrepreneurs. Female entrepreneurship has always been huge on my mm. heart. It's a big part of my business. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, in the entrepreneurial world, the ladies still don't get enough recognition. You can name 10 men that are in the entrepreneur, entrepreneurial world that um, are great speakers and all that, but you probably can't name 10 females that you know of that have the same uh, recognition as the men. So it was really on my heart to give the ladies, champion the ladies, giving them awards, um, women all over the world come to this event and we just give them the time and the energy and the recognition that they deserve. So women are the only speakers um, women are the only sponsors. Men absolutely do attend and they are welcome, but it's the day of the ladies that oh, day. I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Candace, thank you so much. Listen, if you'd like to connect with Candace Barr, you can follow her on social or you can watch this segment again on our website at lasvegasmorningblend.com and get all the info that you need. Thank you, Candace. Thank you.